Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and this is the video number three in the product costing of manufacturing items. In this video, I'm going to explain the two main components of manufacturing expenses. In the last video, I used an example that we have a factory that only manufactures the chairs. And then we have all these expenses that we have to pay in order to run our business. Then I also explained that general administrative and sales expenses are called non-manufacturing expenses. And for now, I'm going to look into the details of the manufacturing expenses. So what manufacturing expenses do we have in our factory? We have the cost of the components, the wood and the nails that we are going to use to manufacture the chair. And then we have many other expenses that we are going to spend in order to convert the direct materials into our finished product or the chair. So the two main components of manufacturing expenses are direct materials and the conversion costs. So what exactly are direct materials? Direct materials are the main components that we use in our production. And when you look at your product, you can easily tell how much you consumed in terms of direct material. So for example, when you look at a chair, you can easily say that this chair consumed two meters square of wood and 10 nails, for example. But the same doesn't go for conversion cost. Conversion costs are hard to track. So for example, if you look at a chair, can you tell me how much it costs in terms of wages or electricity or cleaning materials or utilities or any other expense? No. These are not very easy to track, but we have to develop ways in order to distribute these expenses, the conversion expenses, into each unit that we produce. Why do we need to do this? Remember that the main target and the main use of product costing is to know how much we have to pay in order to produce every single unit. So I have to know that each chair is costing me 10 USD. And based on this, I can make many important decisions. So for example, I can decide whether I should go into this business or no. I can also decide how much should I sell this product for and many other critical decisions to the business. So it is very important that we allocate every single manufacturing expense to every unit of production. So direct materials are very easy to allocate. When you look at a product, you can easily tell how much it costs in terms of direct materials. While conversion costs are paid in bulk. So for example, every month I gave a wage to the, labor, to the worker, to the labor we have in the factory. And this covers all the chairs we produced. So we have to find a way to distribute these wages into every single unit of production. In the next video, I'm going to go into more details on how to calculate the direct material cost per unit, including bill of material and scrap percentages. And then I'm going to go into the details of the conversion cost. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.